Thursday, the third annual Duny Festival kicked off in the central village of Mangilao. For four days, island residents and tourists were able to enjoy, sample, and purchase a variety of Duny jelly, finance, cookies, drinks, and more. There was also an array of vendors and booths selling everything from kettle corn to bow holders. Roasted owner Tiffany Fernandez thought it would be a good idea to set up a booth this year because of a second location opening up later this year. Since Rose is going to be opening up at GCC, we decided that we would partake in the Donny Festival. And the new items that we do have at the shop are pica jelly, pica brownies, pica lattes, and popsicles. So we have frozen fresh fruit popsicles, um, and we plan on spicing those things up as well. So come check us out in Timuni or in October at the GCC location. As for what the pica jelly is ideal with, we have pica jelly, and what we recommend how you prepare it is like with a Ritz cracker, add um, a little bit of cream cheese on it and then a dollop of pica jelly and then just enjoy it. For those who can't handle super hot, Fernandez says you need not worry. I think it's mild, but depending on your taste, we've done a mild and then pica. So when you're driving down Route 1 Marine Corps Drive, make sure to stop by Roasted Coffee Boutique for your pica fix. We have pica lattes, okay. so either in a frap or a hot item. Um, and they can be pretty spicy. At first when you drink it, it's a little, just, it tastes like a regular latte and then it kind of kicks in later on and hits you in the throat. So it's a nice surprise. Right next to Roasted's booth was the infamous Tuna Guam, where Jared Okada was selling special edition Doni De Nancy. This is made with eggplant, coconut milk, mango, and crab liver. And we did, we did three different levels of heat. We did a pika, a saggy, and a papagoo level and this is this is a Donny De Nancy also and it doesn't have the only difference between this and this is that this doesn't have coconut milk or crab liver and we did three levels of heat on this as well this right here is the pico one now for those of you who were unable to stop by the festival to pick up a jar or two of this limited edition De Nancy you could hit us up on Facebook tunuguam.com we might have some left. This year's festival was hot. A bigger turnout, a chilly cook-off, and a Donny De Nancy contest for people to showcase their talents, and even a Miss Donny 2012. Festival vendor Mike Martinez set up a booth with his wife selling an array of pica jelly and Donny De Nancy. It's good hot. It's made out of, uh, the Donny De Nancy is made of uh, onions, garlic, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of olive oil. I can't tell you how much though, so <laughs> anyway, uh, then we also, she also makes that pica jelly, she has red pepper pica jelly, and that's a little bit sweet, a little tarty, a uh, little spicy, she has orange, you know, and th those orange pica jellies, when they buy it, uh, customers always use it to make, uh, to glaze the ham, and we got mango pica jelly, uh, business or star apple pica jelly, plum pica jelly, and gu uh, guava pica jelly, uh, sometimes we, she makes that as well. As for what types of peppers they use for their concoctions. We use different kinds of peppers. You know, sometimes we get it from friends. Sometimes uh, we buy it at the flea market. Or wherever, wherever they have it available. They have some down at Aga. Tuesday night market, we get some there too. So. You can find the Martinez's every Thursday at the Manila night market. It was a heated four days and we look forward to what next year's festival has in store.